a lot of the comments that I've received after, so far in the course relate to asking about uh, this, negotiating your salary. I'm not going to talk about negotiating your salary because I already did that. But one of the, by far the most common uh, response that I've received from you is simply that I don't have any experience. <clears throat> you know, I'd love to, I'd love to ask for 60,000, but I don't have any experience. So first of all, this is complete nonsense. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about, about your apparent lack of experience because you do have a lot of experience. You're just not looking at it the right way. True, you don't have any experience working for this particular company. Yeah, of course, you haven't worked there yet. Uh, which means you haven't been spoiled or tainted by the, you're not damaged goods yet, at least, by this company. Think about your projects and what you have done or what you're doing in university as experience. If you're working with a group looking at a certain organizational problem or scenario, that's experience. <clears throat> you can say that, look, I worked with this group of five people, we looked at this problem. I was responsible for this, this, this. You can also, with your group then, you can also say, you know what, I'm gonna take leadership of this group so that on my resume, I can say, I led this group of, honestly, I led this group of experts, of industry experts, who st and we studied this problem. Another way, so first of all, Think about how all the things you're doing and how those translate into experience. Because you are now working online uh, with university, this means that you can now show that you are you know, a self-starter, that you don't need to be monitored, that you are capable of working remotely, of working on your own. You don't have to have a boss looking over you and watching everything you do. You are able to manage your own, uh, your own workload, manage your responsibilities, and make sure stuff gets done on your own. Because you spent a year, right, with COVID, you spent a year or a, a semester at home or you know, working, on, uh, working at a distance. Think about that, all the skills that that has given you. All of the skills in university are transferable to the workforce. In fact, the workforce in some ways will be far easier than university. In university, you're juggling all these different choruses, right? You go from something as uh, people-oriented as organizational behavior or management to something as uh, numerical as accounting or finance or supply chain to marketing. These are all different courses, different skill sets that you are managing uh, in your portfolio. You can say that on your resume. Look, this is what I've done. I've managed all these different things. Another way to think about it, and perhaps this is maybe uh, a little, I don't know, more relevant or better for you, what skills do you think are required for whatever job you're applying for? What would look good on your resume for them? And then go do that. Uh, I, had a, I, I had a student who really wanted to contact the Oilers. And so in my class, he came up with a project that was looking at, I don't even remember, and it, it probably doesn't matter, right? He was looking at some aspect of hockey, and I think hockey and culture perhaps, Anyways, he was looking at hockey, and so he contacted the Edmonton Oilers and said, you know, I'll use the golden ticket. I'm a student at McEwen. I'm working on a project uh, relates to the Oilers, and, you know, they're such an amazing franchise, etc. I'd like to come talk to you. He ended up going over to the Oilers and talking to, I don't remember who it was exactly, but he talked to some of the executives about the project. He quoted them, etc., you, he could say, I don't have any experience, but think about, that, uh, think about that episode or think about that event. That has actually provided him with a lot of experience, right? He, first of all, he came up with the project. He framed the project. He executed the project. He went and met uh, the relevant industry personnel, and then he summarized, <clears throat> he disclosed, he dis dispersed, right? He did all of these. These are all things. These are all uh, things that he can say, this is my experience that relate to this one project. 
So think about a project that you could take on that would allow you to show these are, this is my experience. These are the skills that I've gained. Here's me executing these skills. And this is why I am uniquely well qualified for this position. So instead of saying I don't have any experience, first of all, how, what experience have I gained? Well, I've managed work, family, and school. That's pretty darn amazing, right? Just managing those things, just getting your butt out of, out of bed and to school and getting stuff done is, is, is big, right? But also, what are projects that I could pick up that would give me, you know, a really cool skill set for putting on, to put on my resume when I go out and when I hit the job market, right? What are projects that I could work on? Do I want to pick up something, you know, tech related? Do I want to pick up something uh, in the healthcare, accounting, leadership, supply chain? Where, where do I want to get uh, my experience from? Because where, where do I want to go? And all it takes is, you know, just sit down for, a bit and just think about, okay, where do I see myself going, right? And what's the experience that I need to get there? And then how do I get that experience? And it can be simple, something as simple as interviewing some accounting firms. You know, uh, what's your experience? Well, I interviewed five different accounting firms to talk about best practices in this or about culture. Because it gives you... Uh, experience and it also shows that you have genuine interest in that uh, in that environment and in that career career path so think about what are some of the projects that you can do now that will give you the experience that you need to apply to the job you want that's what you should be thinking about understand that you do have a lot of experience it's not the traditional work experience but it is a lot of experience and you can use that for your job. And think about the project you want to give you the skills you need for the job you want to apply for. Those are some important things you need to know about this thing called experience. Because it is important that you can show that you have experience, that you understand you are learning and growing as a person, okay? Talk to you later.